What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We've made a lot of progress on the Tacoma so far, and in this video, we are gonna be changing the radiator and the AC condenser, and we're also gonna be fixing the radiator support bar. We were gonna change it, but it's much easier just to fix it. So make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video and see all the progress we make. So if you remember from the last video, this was pushed in, and that's why this was busted. So we were gonna change this with this radiator support bar, but it's gonna be much easier for us to just fix this one. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I thought it was going to be just unbolted and bolt a new one in, but I didn't realize it was spot welded all over the place. So I think what we're going to do is remove the condenser and radiator. That'll give us a lot more room. Do that first. Get us a block of wood. And then we'll put a come along and some wood in this door frame. And that should pull out straight. All right, so let's get started. We got the radiator and condenser out. It wasn't too hard, didn't take too long, but it was tricky. Drew a little blood trying to pull it out. But nowadays these radiators, the sides are made out of plastic and it was leaking like right up in here where the plastic and the metal meets. So they make stuff so cheap now. And it used to, you'd have radiator repair shops, but these radiators are only like 100 or 120 bucks, I think. So it's not worth it and it's made so cheap. They couldn't even repair this probably. But this would be a good time to change the serpentine belt. Easy access, but we're gonna do the right thing and not change it because this is Tyler's truck and that's gonna be his problem later on. But no, this belt looks real good and it's low mileage, so it's, I don't see any issues. I thought about maybe the thermostat, but it's still, it's such a low mileage truck. I'm not gonna worry about it. So here's the new radiator and condenser. Let's get this open, make sure we got a good match before we try to install it. All right, so here's the radiator and the AC condenser. We're gonna get this opened, but before we put it in, we have to get this uh, radiator support bar straightened out. We're also gonna get it opened and see if it's the right parts, because if not, we can get that ordered tonight. Looks good. See how the new one comes plastic as well. Everything is plastic nowadays. So we're gonna have to take the radiator cap off the old one, put on here. Doesn't come with a new cap. We had one little issue with this one. See, this little nipple piece is busted off of it, which this drain goes all the way down to here, so it. It should be fine, it shouldn't leak out of here. I guess this just helped direct the water straight down. But that's what's bad about getting stuff shipped to you. Hopefully this one will be fine. All right, so it did come with new um, support, so that's good. We don't have to reuse those, so it looks good. All right, so my plan for this is I'll have a two by six along the wall. Hopefully the two by six won't bend. I'm gonna hook up this come along and then I hammered a little scrap piece of two by four in here. Had to open this up a little bit. Had to stick it in and hammer it down. So I'm gonna hook it all up that way. I'm gonna put this red strap on here because if I just put the strap around this, it would just crease it back together. So I'm gonna use this two by four to keep the uh, channel square and I'll pull it out. It only needs to come maybe half an inch. 
and then that'll be perfect. Let's give it a shot. I think we got it almost perfect. I think it actually is perfect. Been tapping on it to try to relieve some of the stress in the metal. I tried a couple different ways. I started with the block, then I put this metal bar on the inside and then connected to it through a hole to pull on it, but I think the block is the best way. So I had to swap over to this yellow strap because my red strap kept breaking. So I may put one, a little bit more tension just to get it past perfect. That way when I take it off, it don't deflect back. But in all honesty, this piece really don't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna put a little bit more tension. I think if I go too much, the red strap over here is gonna break. see yeah that's perfect might be a little past perfect which when I take it off I think is gonna go back perfectly straight but that saved is probably two days of work grinding all these little spot welds and then re-welding it all back in so I'm happy with it all right guys it's the next day we left to come along on the truck overnight just so when we take it off it wouldn't have too much deflection uh, looks like it's going to be perfect. Not that this piece matters that much, but we just trying it out and want to make it perfect. So let's take it off and uh, then we'll put the radiator and condenser in and get most of this front end wrapped up today. All right, so we got the come along off and as you can see, it's perfectly straight now. There's no gap and it was pushed all the way into the condenser, but we got that straightened out and it's perfect now. Yeah, before camera, before I hooked up the come along to it, I was using this crowbar against here and I had a strap and I pulled probably a good inch and a half, two inches like this before I even did the come along. And I noticed on Randy's video, he showed a Tacoma and none of the airbags was blown, but it was wrecked a lot worse than ours. His was hit up here. And I was, it got me thinking, why did our airbags blow? Because ours was hit here and here's where your airbag detectors are, crash detector. So this bar here was hit and that's what set that off. The one that Randy showed was hit more up here. So it didn't mess up with the crash detectors. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. It may not be right, but I don't know. All right, let's get the, we're gonna just put it all back together in reverse. Start with this and just put it all back.
we got the radiator and condenser all back in. It went in pretty easy. All the hoses are hooked up. Only thing left now is high pressure AC line, which now I'm gonna put one ounce of refrigerant oil into it. You, condenser holds about an ounce. And this is not the correct way to do it. It's the only way I have. So I'm gonna shoot one ounce in. So you might not wanna watch it. And we're also gonna stop by Harbor Freight because they're giving away free microfiber cloths and you don't even have to buy anything. So we'll go stop by and I'll add to my towel collection. All right, it's in there. The professionals, they have a little device, a syringe that hooks up to this. After you pull a vacuum, you'll just shoot it in here. There's nothing wrong doing it this way. It's just not too professional. So now I'm gonna bolt this up. Then later we'll pull a vacuum on the whole system and leave a vacuum. Make sure we have a, everything fitted up right. guys are back I got my microfiber towel so that'll come in handy when I'm detailing and we also had a really good lunch barbecue beef sandwiches and that was really good so now we're gonna install the hood latch and the bumper support pieces yes yeah, the old one all mangled up we got some brand new ones got this got this bar got all kind of stuff so Tyler's gonna get that installed we probably won't put the bumper on today because I don't want to put it all on and we have a hole in a radiator or a condenser so get this installed get these seats in because i don't want to put the get the battery connected and run the truck without all the airbags so we want to get all that first so let's get this put on how's the bottom hole line up pretty good that's perfect Go ahead and torque them down. All right, guys, we got all the little support pieces on. We still got to get, dig through our little bowl of bolts and find four more bolts to get this connected. But the hood lines up perfectly. All the bolt holes lined up perfect. So real happy with all this. Um, in the next video, we're gonna test the radiator and pull a vacuum and then charge the AC condenser and get the truck running, take a test drive. So follow us on Instagram. You'll get quicker updates. And we just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So that's a big milestone for us and we really appreciate that and we will see you in the next video.